Well, hey, everybody. Uh, I hope you're doing great. I hope you're having a great week, and I am super excited uh, because we are coming up on a new endeavor here at um, New Hope, and we're talking about launching New Hope small groups, and we're going to do that June the 12th at 6.30. We're going to have a casserole night. Everybody loves a good casserole, and and so uh, we're going to have a casserole night. We're going to eat together. We're going to talk about the launch of small groups. And then we'll break up into different small groups. Um, you can choose your small group. I want to go ahead and tell you uh, the commitment is this is not supposed to be a burden added to you. This is to lift burdens. Um, so when you join a small group, we're just meeting right now through August the 28th um, once a week. And you can be a part of, of that group. And we know that there are vacations and things going on. Don't, don't let this feel like a chain around your neck or an added responsibility. Um, this is just something we want to do uh, as a church to develop in our relationship with God and our relationship with other. Remember our mission statement. We want to love God, love people, and share his truth. And that's at the core of what this is all about. So this has been on my heart, and I am super excited about it, and I want to explain a little bit about why this is so important. So if you go back to the early church, and you look at what the early church was doing, this is kind of back to the basics of why we do church. Uh, this is one of the things we read. This comes from Acts chapter 2, verses 46 through 47. It says, And day by day, attending the temple together... And breaking bread in their homes, they received their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to their number day by day those who were being saved. I love that last part. Um, people were getting to know this God that we can't live without, and I love it. And so this is this is the point, right? We can meet in church, and we do that, and, and I love what we have going on. But this is a large gathering, and Pastor Bryant Blakely came and drew us this model uh, when he met with us about small groups. And I, and I want to go back to this for just a minute. And what we do when we have corporate worship together, what they were doing when they gathered together, is they had a large gathering, and that's this triangle. But when you have a large gathering, you aren't able to connect in those relationships as much. You have a different purpose for gathering together for a corporate worship. So if you notice, there's limited relationship growth that happens in just a large gathering. That's why church can't just be one hour a week on Sundays. Church is more about who we are. And so one of the things that we are called to do is to develop in our love for each other. And we do that through relationship. So when we shrink the size of the gathering, we expand the potential of the relationship. And great relationships create great community. And so the whole point of these small groups is for every single person that comes in to New Hope Baptist Church to feel like you belong. The last thing we want is somebody who walks in on a Sunday morning and walks out and goes home, but they don't feel like they're a part of a community. I hope and pray that through small groups, each and every person develops a small tight group that they can call and lean on and struggle through life together knowing that they have a battle buddy they have a partner shoulder to shoulder to fight through life with and ideally it'll be through someone with similar seasons in their life um, maybe it's a young married couple with uh, children or maybe it's uh, uh, a family that's going through the the seasons of, of watching their children grow and, and move on out of their house. And so whatever it may be, the goal is that we don't do life alone. We do it with God. And this whole study through small groups, we draw closer to God, but we also do it together as a body of believers. And that is that community. And so that is my prayer for small groups. I hope I hope that you will consider and pray about becoming a part of a small group. My plan is that we continue to expand this. We continue to see people reached and come to know Jesus, that they would uh, know him as their Lord and Savior and then get to know him deeper. And so that is my prayer. I hope that you have a wonderful week, and I cannot wait for this upcoming week as we launch New Hope Small Groups. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, it's a blessing and a privilege to know each of you, and, and I hope you have a wonderful week.